Rated M for Mature. night's dream again what the hell I was at the bar and this girl came in and then Damn, I can't remember what's going on okay we're starting to see different blocks right. what these ones right here they're Watch. immobile they cannot Watch. be moved whatsoever Watch. even by any means at all also these blocks crack blocks what happens when you step on them yeah, they start to break. Step on them twice. Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. <laughs> really? There are several types of blocks. Whenever yes. you see a new block, definitely step on them twice, and they'll be oh, well, they'll break apart. So yeah, definitely be careful. More as more vlogs become well, yeah, just, you know, it. we'll be getting right. into them more you know you as things go blocks, on. Right? It's a really useful technique. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out, you'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. From there, yeah, there you can move around. Yeah, there's two different methods of um, hanging. Pull a block out or just move to a space where there's right, not any blocks. It. It's definitely a really, really right, handy it. to, to um, well, newer. And definitely something you want to keep in mind. Right, I got it. Right. So just hang 10, right around there. Right, I got it. Definitely good way to maneuver around. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Yeah. Around, it's done by using the um, right, right stick. Use the right stick. It can be good to move stuck. to look around and see what's ahead. It's especially useful if you're a first time player, I guess. But it's good to have that option. Alright, I got it. You can also push rows of blocks all at once, too. Rows of blocks can be pushed together. There's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time. Yeah, that's definitely good to keep in mind. There's actually an Xbox achievement Yeti. for um, pushing more than five blocks at the same time. As the tutorial is saying, when you reach the checkpoint, it'd be good idea to actually um, take a to tag one of these. But since I'm going for cold ranks, yeah, that's definitely not a good idea for me. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? Perhaps we'll meet these guys soon. For now, we're gonna talk to Goldblock and pull it down. The gold blocks also count as a um, immobile block. Not bad. Walk into the landing. Looks like you survived. Who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody hears a sheep butt ball. I can use that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. 
If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Quit with all the dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 wait. You hurry too. Hey! You can't be serious. On the landings, you can save your progress and talk with the other sheep. Talk to them. He's not wrong. If you're prone to panic, you're bound to die first. You can use this to save your game. Yeah, it's kind of grand. I can't believe this is how it's kind of like a Bible on a stand or something. It's, it's I guess it's pretty cool. Speaking of cool, actually, um, <laughs> the freedom sign is uh, hanging around the demon's neck. <laughs> There's actually a demon on top of the convention room here. Really need detail, especially with that bell behind it. Talk to you. Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? They told me to go up. What's up there? Give me a break. You're bound to die if you don't, man. That's what they're talking about. Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner, at least, saves you some pain, right? Wow, that's actually rather depressing, actually. To really think about it. But at the same time, I guess that uh, would come to service in an in intense situation like this. What is this place? Why was I taken here? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here. Yeah, that's creepy, actually. Just not only that, but just imagine how high we are up right now. We just had those sheep in those cages, and the fact that they're just dangling over air with just nothing beneath them. Imagine if those cages gave away. Uh, uh, I don't want to die. Calm down. Just calm down. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. That's what it's like in this talky dog world. Unfortunately, it's... then again. In a life or death situation, it brings the worst out of people. If you don't run, you'll die. I've got to keep running. I can't die here. You want to team up to find a way out of here? I don't know you. I can't trust you. No, I'm not going with anyone. I've had it with people trying to trick me. Damn it! I'm gonna survive, even if it means kicking off others. If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too! Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about right there. This doggy dog situation where he kind of brings up the worst in people. If it's necessary to save yourself, then. Yeah. Great. Right. This guy right here. use that next time. Maybe this will be useful. You want me to teach you the technique I found? This guy. Whenever you talk to him, he will bring you new techniques. So we're Let's gonna go ahead and do that. All right. Remember, this is my deck. Allow me to explain the pyramid. Pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. Re 
remember this basic technique. What do you think? Nice. Huh. Mm, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Allow me to explain the slider. Pull out two blocks vertically, then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway, even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. Yeah, I knew. Uh, yeah, I did. Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. I'll have to use that next time. Yeah. If you're relying on if you're relying on luck to get you out of here, you're gone. Um, check it with the standard chance in this place. <laughs> Since I'm a professional. Actually, no wait. Something I want to bring attention to first. Is there someone in there? Yeah, I can't see through that window. Uh, no, Vincent. Uh, that does not mean someone's in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, is there someone in there? I can see you so look. Is there someone in there? Also, look at this painting right here. Right? Behind the... Um, well, where, um, keep it set. It's really unsettling that there's a painting of a crucifix in here. Just saying. There's someone in there, right? Why don't you take a seat? Alright, we shall take a seat. Oh, uh -huh. Welcome to the confessional. It seems a new lamb has appeared. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. You are the lambs who have been chosen. You'll all be dead soon. What? Don't be ridiculous. But before I kill you, I want to determine your life's worth. So, I'll have you answer my question. Damn it, what is this? Question one. Is marriage the point where life begins or ends? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. <laughs> In between nightmare stages, you'll be given questions like this. You use less stick to basically choose your, to the answer. But this is something I like doing. Boom 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 I don't know. Boom 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 boom. I like doing the invisible drums. Which one? Of course, I won't. I won't be living the life as a McHale, that's not a lifestyle for me. This one? It begins. Oh, so that's your choice. That's surprising. Hey, who are you? Are you doing all this? No, I merely watch over the sheep. Someone else dropped you here. Someone in the real world wanted you to be dropped here and wanted you to die. It's someone you know. If you want the truth, you'll have to survive. But since you seek survival, I will take you to the next trial. Next trial, huh? That would be tough with all Phoenix right around. <laughs> I'm just kidding. After getting your answer, You'll be giving, you'll give a pipe chart. Summarizing all of the players' answers. A surprising amount of people I feel saying it begins. Which is kind of surprising in current year, given um, a lot of Marxists are trying to destroy the nuclear family. But that's a topic. Yeah, I know we're just here to enjoy some Catherine. There's still more? Commencing area two. Are you ready? Oh come on, Vincent. Did you really expect it to be over that edge? Quickly. Alright, Alright, 
So, that feedback. Hey, friend. I mean, some of these sheep have the short end of the stick. I mean, look. Those sheep down there have had the tower rigged against them from the start. It ends there. No hope of getting to the top either. It just, ugh, horrible. How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? Hey, don't run up ahead, help me! Sorry, man, but I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Oh yeah, as you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it for later. You can pick up items by touching them. Remember, you can only hold one at a time. Press X to use it. You probably can't hold many, but you should hang on to one, just in case. All these different items, I'll be getting you to one by one as we collect them, but... This right here, a white cube. It does what you expect. It places a cube right in front of you. Yeah, what are these? I don't really know, but the amount you get depends on how fast you climb. If you're looking to collect a lot of them, keep that in mind. Your score is measured in Enigma coins. As you climb up each new step, more coins will be added to your score. Use these coins to purchase items on the landings between stages. And with that in mind, your score is also used as a condition for unlocking additional game features. The faster you climb, the more bonus coins you will earn. If you want more coins, climb faster and aim for a high score. See that sheep right there? We cannot share the same base. As such, How's this? I'm gonna be a dick to him. Edge. 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 Okay, I can be a dick to him that way. So let me try it again. Edge. Little more. Actually, no. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Just be an utter dick to him. Ha 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 ha! Get my score back. I'm thinking this might pull in easy because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do that. I, I've done it. Yes! Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you're crushed by a falling block, you're dead. Are you serious? Give me a break! If you are crushed by a block, the game will end. Watch out for wobbling blocks. Yeah, it's very easy to be crushed by blocks, especially if you're, um... <coughs> careless. Edge. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show this for right. Edge. Okay, oh. never mind. I'm not gonna be able to show that. But if you remove any support, oh, it's a block. I've seen fall. others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. You mean the other guys climbing with me? They're in my way. They're all trying to climb, like you. This is a dog eat dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. Two creatures cannot stand on a block at the same time. We're not even sheep, we're just creatures. Sometimes, sheep will get in your way as they try and climb to the top. To move a sheep out of your way, move up against him and shove him. It's gonna be right, various different sheep right, that we're gonna be encountering as we progress in the game, but... Right. <laughs> Really, all much to worry about. They're just trying to climb, just like us. And speaking of climbing, climbing is crazy. Here, I see you're still alive and kicking. The hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. 
The map on the left side of the screen shows you how far you are from the goal. Stages vary in length, so be mindful of your progress. Of course, you only say that after we reach the top. All right, I got it. Edge. Right, I got so it. it's gonna put this heavy block, which moves a lot, a lot slower than uh, the rest of these because they're heavy blocks. Right, I got it. You just show these are immobile. Watch. There you go. You survived. Impressive. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep, but all these sheep, they're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But, they do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big. Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! Uh, wait. While on landings, you can learn techniques to help you climb higher. Game, I'm one step ahead of you. Crawling around blindly won't help you escape. There is valuable information to be found, and you can only find it here. But yeah, coming, yeah, something big. Coming soon to a movie theater near you. Haha. <laughs> There's actually something else to, um, well, bring to the table. Literally! Got this fat sheep here. Oh, you're new here, am I right? Let me ask, do you have any coins? You may have seen them lying around while you were climbing. I'll trade you useful items for them. Huh. Would you rather have coins than an item? I'm a numismatist. I love money. There's nothing in life money can't buy. I've got a plaque with that on it in my office. No matter what world you're in, as long as you've got money, you can do anything. These gold coins are symbols, symbolizing money. And if that's the case, then I can save myself if I have enough of it. That's my theory. Oh, so you don't know... If you are still having trouble getting through a stage, you can buy items with coins. If you are already carrying an item, it will be replaced if you buy a new one. Be careful. However, buying items makes it more difficult to earn the gold prize. Yeah, that's one reason why I don't like buying items. There's another reason, but we won't be getting that until much, much later in the game. But just trust me, I will not be getting items for a good reason. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a block in front of you. <laughs> Some selection? Yeah, no. I've already gone over the white cube. Not a good item, per se, especially in the... Especially... There will be a couple times in the game where the white cube is going to be especially useful, or any cube for that matter. But... No. Also, did you catch it in the beginning? Well, Vincent be able to overcome all the blocks in his life. <laughs> yeah, that was a cleverly set up fun and I love it. No, I don't need to. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, fro man? Uh, uh... Excuse me. Please come again. 
Yeah. Also, if you look underneath the table, he already has a fat sack of coins. Yeah. Also, with this fat, with the existence of this fat sheep. Ooh, foreshadowing. Get them to the place, thank you. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on. How can I survive? I can't keep climbing. I don't know anything either. Listen, if you want to live and climb, that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotta stay calm. Stay calm. Hi, if you panic, you're bound to. Ah, the monster! It's fuzzy and fluffy at the same time, and it's coming right at me! <laughs> Snap out of it. There's nothing like that anywhere near here. The monster talks. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Huh? Fuzzy and fluffy. Truly the greatest I nightmare feel. Ah! It's a rabbit! <laughs> oh, my God. That is the worst thing to be afraid of, something fuzzy and fluffy. Come on, dude. Hey, didn't you shove me just a few minutes ago? How dare you? You're just some sheep! I'll shove you next time! I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. Newsflash, fuck you! <laughs> need to make sure I survive! That's not right. No. It's not a matter of right or wrong, it's about life Death. Yeah, what good is having pity going to do you in here? You'd be surprised. <laughs> when it comes to raising the morale of everyone. I found this out. Yo, have we met before? You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? Give me something Tell else. Me something. Let's go off with the V last thing we did for now. Allow me to explain suspending. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below it. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in place. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist, huh? <laughs> hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one, too. Allow me to explain pullback. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. By creating a stairway as you go down, you will be able to go higher than you could before. That's crazy. You knew that? Yeah. Yeah, I knew. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, this kind of stuff has to become second nature to you. I know. I can't just rely on my natural reporter's instinct. It's the truth. Just techniques, huh? I guess the trick is to learn as many of them as possible. Okay, you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. Gotcha. But we are going to end things off here, right? I'm... We're going to be facing... The big one. See you guys then. Alright, the big one. I mean the boss. <laughs>